grammar, we have conjunctions. And perhaps at some point you've used the acronym FANBOYS to remember the seven most commonly used coordinating conjunctions. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. But to use one of those conjunctions, when we connect the study of grammar to the history of the English language and to the art of writing itself, we may be surprised and delighted to learn that the word conjunction also means connection, the conjoining or convergence of different elements, which, as it happens, is what we think grammar is really about. Hi, this is Thomas from Cozy Grammar, and I wanted to say hello and thank you to one of the teachers we recently learned has been using our Cozy Grammar videos with his classroom, Mr. Lemstrom. A student of his wrote to us to say that both the class and Mr. Lemstrom alike have enjoyed what we've been able to offer in these videos, which delights us enormously. So thank you, Mr. Lemstrom and all of your students for helping us connect grammar and real people like all of you. Because as we see it, and as we hope you too have started to see, Grammar needn't be some stultifying and arcane subject removed from real life. Instead, it is one of our key tools for connecting us to each other and to our sources of creativity by helping us to speak and write with clarity, elegance, and grace. Just as the student who wrote to us did, and as you, Mr. Lemstrom, have clearly helped your students to do. So from all of us at Cozy Grammar, to all of you, our very best wishes for your explorations of language and life. And if you or anyone else watching this video happens to have a question about the life of language, feel free to ask it in a comment or to write to us through our website, cozygrammar.com. That helps us keep honoring the conjunctions between teachers and students, grammar and creativity, and words in our beautiful world.